In women pre-Islamic Arabia, there used to be a flag on a woman's tent when any man could go inside and sleep with her. Something that's very similar to liberal Western society with prostitution. There's 80,000 prostitutes in England. The government are doing nothing about it. Islam honors the woman and says, we're going to stop this and we have to honor the woman. And that's the reality of Islam. The Prophet, the Prophet Muhammad, the, the, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the best amongst best of you in faith are the ones who are best to their wives. Do we hear this from David Cameron and Obama? We don't hear none of this. We don't hear none of this. What about, what about economic rights? Women don't even have to work because we honor the woman, we elevate her. She doesn't even have to. She doesn't even have to pay for her house. We have to provide. If the man can provide, the government will provide. She doesn't even have to pay for an education. The husband or uncle, the one who's a wali in charge of her affairs, has to and is obligated to pay for her education. She doesn't have to pay for her own makeup. That's the reality in Islam. And I ask you the question, in which liberal society, in which liberal society do we have? Is David Cameron giving money to the homeless women? 80,000, 50 to 80,000 homeless people in England. Where is the money? The bankers get away with everything, but we can't take the money from the bankers who even stole our own taxes to provide and honor the women and families. This is the reality of individualism, which is the basis of your society, which is liberalism. I would challenge anybody today. I would even make sure that we're here until one in the morning, I'll debate on liberalism and show how individualism is the most disgusting thing that came in this society because it caused excessive greed. What's happening in Somalia? There's 10 million people starving, starving because of, 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 of food. And but we have 10 million people dying because of obesity, fat chips, KFC, chicken, pizzas in America. They're dying of too much food, but in Somalia they're dying of no food. It's nothing to do with too many needs and not enough resources. That's an outdated geopolitical myth. The reality is the distribution of resources. Who solved that problem? Zakat, Sadaqah. So the point I'm trying to make is, now, Dr. Lars Gu may say, but we disagree with this. We want to elevate people. We want to change the society. That's why Western society is making more harsh punishments. That's not true. In the UK, there was a huge debate because the guys, the politicians, the corrupt people, they wanted to lower the crime for rape. They want to lower the crime for rape in the UK just early this year. And he might say, well, humanism has the solutions. It doesn't. You know why? Because it's based on social consensus. And what does that do? The ones with the most money and power will make the most influence like we see in capitalist societies. This is why children in England have UK riots because they have no purpose in life. What defines them is their bling bling, their trainers and their mobile phone. They don't have it. They don't have a definition. They don't have identity. Therefore, they have to steal it. He might say, well, humanism is going to solve the problem. It won't because you're calling for the solution, which is the thing that caused the problem in the first place, which is individualism. SubhanAllah.